Stuart, Player of the Month for December and January and Man of the Match for uh, today's game against the Welders. It's been a good afternoon. Yeah, it was good. Um, we started off well. Uh, probably could have scored one or more or one or two more. Um, second half, we just didn't come out as well as we did the first half. But even when we went a goal down, we, we still had the character to come back. So it was good to get the one in the end, you know, that's the most important thing. As a defender, is it satisfying you the way we, we kind of dug in and, and held out for the result yeah, in the end? Um, I think before the match, one of the things we said is we've kind of chasing games the past couple of weeks and maybe even month because we've conceded early and we're constantly trying to get back into the game. So the, the big thing was trying to get the early goal, get something to hold on to and, and build on. And I think we did that. Um, second half, obviously they scored again, but we got back into the lead and we knew we had to, we had to dig deep and, and keep the lead and, and make sure we get the win. And how big an influence has Colin Nixon been since he came to the club? It's been good. It's been positive as well. So, you know, um, everything he says, he says it for a reason. He doesn't say things for the for the sake of it. Um, you know, and I'm certainly learning a lot a lot of him. And I'm sure, you know, other guys are learning off him too. I hope. And it's it's just it's it's experience you can't buy. You know, and it's great to have that in the change room, not only on the pitch, but you know, in the change room and in, in training. You know, and everyone's. Everyone's benefiting from it, I think. That's two wins out of two against the Welders. Is that a you know a good thing psychologically as much as anything yeah, else? Can um, I think looking at the big games this year, we've probably done well and done better than we certainly did last year. Um, I think that was our biggest problem last year. We didn't win enough of the big games, but now we know that we can compete with any team. Um, look, at, at the most important thing is we're in the next round. Um, doesn't matter who we beat, really, but it's still a psychological factor, like you say, it definitely has you know, a positive influence on everyone. End of the quarterfinals now, it's a stage where everybody's looking forward to trying to get to that, that uh, final game. Yeah, um, we've been here probably, what, once in the Stinn Suns this year and then the semi-final count in Andermstead, so we have to make sure, you know, what we've learned from the M games is, you know, we can't, we can't take anything for granted and we have to make sure that we're on the game in the quarterfinal if we win that and then we just take it one game at a time, I suppose. The league, obviously, there's a huge amount to play for. Um, you take a lot of confidence going into the rest of those games. Then. Yeah, definitely. We have to build on it, like you say, Ian. Um, the big thing is that we've maybe only played what, one league game in two months, and I think that's... Well, of course, we've been involved with Irish Cup and Intermediate Cup, which is also very important, but there's been a few weeks where it's been called off, and that kind of disrupts the flow of things. And now we've, we've had a, three games maybe in about a month now, so we have to build on that three ones. Have to keep going now. So, last season we were up there, but we knew teams had games in hand on us. It's it's the other way around this year. Is there is there a genuine belief that we can kind of go and try and finish yeah. that top two? Everyone in the change room wants to go as high as we can, and at this minute, he, there's no limit on how high we can go, and we just have to keep getting points on the board, closing the the gap between the likes of Ards there, um, and ov obviously the welders that are ahead of us, and and I think Lock are still ahead of us as well. So. We just have to make sure that we, we get the three points in every league game as many times as we can and see where that takes us. Another person you picked up the, the player of the month, um, that goal against Ballymena looked for, for so long like it was going to gonna win us it. Um, maybe talk us through that. I, to be honest, it's just one I just turned on it, but uh, to be honest, it feels kind of for nothing now because it obviously meant that you know, our, the end result was that we didn't get through. Um, but Obviously, it is nice to get a goal today. Kieran's had three or four great deliveries, and the problem they could have scored another one. But the most important thing is we get the one. And things are going well for you. Obviously, being at the club more than a year and a half now, feel feel settled. Yep, feel settled. Uh, get on well with everyone. Um, really enjoy playing for the management. Um, enjoy playing for the supporters too, because the supporters have been great. And yeah, everything everything's going well. Jared, thank you. Thank you. We